So if you have four cookies for breakfast, it's like a croissant, isn't it? It is, it's actually no different, not really. I'm just gonna get the uh, onion ready. Great. Shall I uh, do... Uh, what would you like me to do? Just be yourself. Be myself. Yeah. We don't want anything bland here. So, uh, Verena, what's for dinner? Chicken soup. Chicken Not just soup. any chicken soup, but magical, magical chicken. chicken soup. With, with parmesan with, rind. Yeah, with and parmesan. papadeli. Yeah. Papadeli. Delish. So, in the pot, uh, we have a chicken, uh, we have one onion, one garlic um, cut, chopped or cut, and we have salt yep. and water. And that's a really, really simple uh, chicken broth. So we're just creating our base, exactly. our canvas. Exactly. And on that canvas, we're going to paint lots more ingredients, right? Lots more colors. That's the plan. That's the plan. I've switched this on, so I'm going to start with a high heat, and then once it comes to boil, we'll bring it down to low simmer and let it simmer for about an hour, 20 minutes, hour and a half. So we're adding tomatoes, yep. which you don't always find in chicken soup or traditionally. And we're adding this parmesan. We're going to dissect the parmesan, so we're going to use the the rind, this, the thick skin at the base. Uh, we're gonna use that uh, to flavor the stock and we're gonna use grated parmesan to finish off the, the soup. Yep. So I've just prepped the um, celery. So three sticks of celery, which I kind of cut on the bias. Look at these clouds of parmesan waiting for us for, for later. Yum. See, look how colorful this is. Like, you know it's gonna be good when you see this. I yeah, think. you know it's gonna be good. You do that so well. So this is a really cool way, right, to get this, this rid of the skin. So, just quickly, I'm gonna, so I'm great, I'm just literally pressing the tomato, I was about to say onion, don't know why, uh, the tomato against the side of the grate, a bit of pressure, and then, great, that's it. And then, until I get to the, and kind of like flatten my hand and then that's it and then we discard this bit correct yeah there you go you could eat it i guess with a bit you of salt could eat olive it. oil you put it on mm. toast yum yeah um, and also you could put it in a, in a big stock pot if you wanted to but i'm just going to collect them here for you you can just <laughs> <laughs> awkwardly hold them <laughs> should i check the chicken soup yes please oh, oh. so good so and then in. Strain and the. And then strain I'll the. Get you the yeah, please. Um, so we've got uh, the, the, chicken. the chicken broth, nice and hot. Yep. And shall we start with the vegetables? Let's do so that. So we've got about two tablespoons, two to three tablespoons of oil in there. During the first lockdown, I cooked this a lot, and I have to say at the beginning, it actually really even though it was helped me out. Yeah, even warm. though it, was, it got really warm, yeah. sort of around Easter time, but at first I found it very comforting to make. Yeah. Let's get it down. I feel like a DJ controlling. <laughs> this is your turn table. Oh, what, 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 what? <laughs> So that's just going to be what, sauteed yeah, for like four minutes Yeah, that's about three, or four so. minutes. Yeah. And we're just going to give it a little bit of colour and soften it a bit. It's not about cooking the vegetables, it's just... Yeah. Garlic. Bay leaves. Bay leaves. Thyme. Thyme. It's so nice to cook with you, Verena. It is nice. Yeah, no, no, it really uh, well, is nice. because you're nice, but also because you've got all, all, all the vegetables. But you see what I mean? It's, 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 it's stress free. Just it's enjoy the heaven. chat. Pretend there's a podcast or Radio I, 2. And now I think at this point I'm going to add some tomato paste. Yeah, about two teaspoons. About two teaspoons, that's one. Whoa, okay, now and it's getting. And that's two. And our grated tomatoes. Tomato. Quickly to stop the, the garlic from burning. That sound. Sound man. That smell. So now we're just going to cook this until this sort of reduces and concentrates a little bit. 
So I would say about Just five a minutes. Of minutes. Yeah. yeah, a couple of minutes, five minutes. Depends how high your heat is. We yeah. could be cheeky and turn it up a little bit. I don't remember if we, if we even... Oh, now or later, it doesn't matter, I think. As so long as it gets seasoned. And... Looks so beautiful. It's so, so, it's so, so, so beautiful. nice. Looks like someone actually put that bay leaf there on purpose. Looks like staged. Staged soup. I'm glad I'm seeing you make this because I think you have got a PhD now in this soup. So I that, do. that um, cooking down of the tomatoes and the and tomato paste is a really important it stage, really but I wasn't important. quite aware how yeah, important yeah. it is. It ends up tasting too acidic if you don't. If you don't do this. Mm -hmm. So you, you kind of kill the acidity a bit. Definitely. Yeah. We, we used to call it the Moses test. <laughs> the Moses, <laughs> so what's the Moses test? To see if the water, comes you, back. you part the water and see if it comes back. Um, so this, we passed the Moses test. We you passed the so Moses test. So should we add, I'll, I'll add the stock now. Yeah. So it's nice and hot. You can smell. The smell is just yeah. incredible. We've got the vegetables, we've got the stock. Let's add the parmesan rind. Oh yeah. Yeah, so we're giving it 15 minutes. Nice, yum. Okay, so um, we've got some questions here from the lovely general public. Can I work with you guys? Everybody, anyone can work for us if they just send us a, their incredible CV and, um, and then they might get a job. Key ingredients I should always have on hand to quickly autolengify a dish. That's good, isn't it? That's very good. So the key ingredients that I would say, so you need to have a nicely stocked uh, uh, spice chef, Definitely. spice rack. Uh, where you need your, yeah, so you need your, you know, cumin and you want your coriander, cardamom, coriander, cardamom. basic spices, herbs, yeah, like a bun, a whole lot of herbs. Um, I think herbs make any dish really, I think they kind of brighten and, and that's right. spruce anything up. So they're asking for favorite recipes in this upcoming cookbook. I love, uh, there is a giant couscous cake. So it's like a, it's like a, there's a lot of couscous that is mixed together with, um, with cheese. So it becomes kind of a cheesy couscous and it, it, it gets um, a crusty on the bottom and the top. And when you eat it, you kind of, it's just holds it, 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 it itself and you, yeah, yeah. you eat it and you get like these strings of delicious cheese and herbs. And it's just so, so satisfying. Um, the coconut dream cake. The, was it cloud cake, dream cake? But anyway, cake. it's it's cloudy and it's dreamy. Um, and I feel I have to mention dessert, but that was one of my favorites. It was coconut cake. It was good. Good. So now you take about half a liter of the soup and just blitz it um, to make it like a, into a puree and put it straight back into the soup. You just It just gives a nice thickness of body. I'm just worried about my shirt. It's a really bad wardrobe choice <laughs> for this kind of cooking. <laughs> Should have worn an apron. <laughs> Is it bad that I was hoping you would get some? <laughs> so bad. So this just goes straight, straight back. Yeah. It goes back into the soup. So good. This makes it look instantly creamier. Beautiful handiwork, I might add. <laughs> I love chicken. Sorry, is that an obvious thing to say? I, I do love it. And the papadelli. So if you don't have papadelli, you can use other pasta, right? Anything could work. Little tubes, the gemelli, casareche. I mean, there's the little shells would be cute, right? And totally. You use your pasta of choice because it really there's just so many options here. So now we're just going to cook this. Let for it like... simmer for about 15 minutes until the pasta is cooked. The chicken is already cooked, so we're we're ready to go. 
Yum. In true tradition, we should have some bread with our soup, right? Because that's just like bread with I soup mean, without bread. Yeah. And we've got the toast, and I'm going to bring the tune, which yes, is uh, um, an incredible, incredibly garlicky garlic spread. So it's just pure garlic. Oh, that's so garlicky. <laughs> <can> smell it <laughs> from here in a good way, obviously. It's like and what savory are we gonna, what are we going to put on top? Just the garlic? Oh, well, what we can, we use yeah, those exactly, bits exactly. of tomato? Use those bits of tomatoes. Do you want to chop them up and will. we'll do? Okay. Nice. Olive oil will go on that. Yeah. I'm glad we're not wasting the tomato skins. Definitely, it's a really good idea. Yum. You can skip the chicken soup and just have that for a I know, let's just, What's yeah. for dinner? <laughs> Tomb toasts. <laughs> With chicken soup. <laughs> With chicken soup on the side. <laughs> I love the color. I love the color. It just looks good, doesn't it? So that chili, you don't have to put the chili in yeah. if you want to keep it child friendly. But it is nice, it's but a nice it is touch. Nice. And a little bit of that basil. You want to put the basil yeah, on? Please. FOMO. No. I had FOMO just there. Basil FOMO? Yeah. <laughs> I want to do or a garnish of... FOMO. Garnish FOMO. <laughs> and some of that lovely cla cloud like one. Oh, I love God. when you see it. Yeah, when it starts melt like melting that. in, oh that is just so uh. beautiful. Pure joy. I'm having my toast. Oh my god. Oh, where did that come yeah, from? We really needed that, Vida. Thank you. This is now sets the scene, I think. Mmm, <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Do I need to do that too? You too. Food that you have to like position yourself for. Such a romantic, such a romantic notion. <laughs> Nobody's watching you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can find the, all the links to the recipes and everything else you need in the description below.